Right now, breaking news on News Channel 8. Good afternoon, everyone. We are interrupting this program for some breaking news coming out of Sebring in Highlands County. That's where Sebring police say there's a report of an armed person inside the bank, the SunTrust Bank, on US 27 and, quote, reports of several people down. Now, we have a crew on the way to the scene. We have Eagle 8 HD up in the sky, and these are some pictures from Highland News Sun of that bank. It is a SunTrust Bank a small bank in Sebring, but you can see the presence there, a huge law enforcement presence. We're also monitoring the Highlands County Twitter account, telling us that US 27 is shut down in both directions from Hammock Road to Lakeview Drive. That's due to the situation, and also even going as far as saying that coworkers and family members of anyone who was at that SunTrust branch during today's incident should go to the Inn on the Lakes. So they're taking this very seriously. Yes, News Channel 8's Paul Lamison is over the scene right now. And Paul, I know you just got there. Tell us what you're seeing. Hey, Stacy. here, what I'm going to tell you first, just so people don't get concerned, I am not going to give away any positions of law enforcement. What I can show you, though, is right here. This is US 27. It is closed in both directions. Right behind those ambulance are two stretchers ready to go. As soon as the situation clears, they are ready to go into that bank. We also have heard on the radio from two Aramet helicopters that were down here. One is en route to an area hospital. So this is a very serious situation. And again, I'm going to pull out a little bit wider and show you US 27. You can see the law enforcement. It is shut down in both directions. For the people that know Sebring, this goes right through the heart of Sebring. So you need to avoid this area. Again, we're going to stay up here. We're going to keep our distance, but we'll be listening and checking out things as we can see them. And we'll definitely report back to you if we hear anything new. Okay, but right Paul, now, a very tense situation. Paul, quick question. So this is still ongoing. This situation is not resolved. Every, that's why you're not zooming in very close, because of course, we don't want to give anything away. Correct. This is still an ongoing situation. When we got on scene, we saw an armed SWAT guy run towards the building. And again, I'll pull, push in and show you what I was talking about right here. These stretchers, the paramedics are armed and ready to go in whenever they can. The crisis negotiation team is here as well. Again, they do believe there are several people down inside this bank. So for now, we're just going to stay back and keep you guys posted of what we can see. Paul, you've covered a lot of these types of situations now. When you were talking about Sebring from our studios here in Tampa, that's about an hour, 45 minute drive, maybe two hours in traffic. We have a crew on the way to that scene. And that US 27 there, that looks like a busy, busy highway. So they've shut that down. Now, what do you, in your experience, what's the next step for the situation? Because that is a huge law enforcement in, in presence. In situations, it's a negotiation. If there's an armed hostage inside that bank, you know they're making communication or at least attempting communication with the person inside the bank. So that's what they do. It's a sit and wait game. We've seen the armored truck out front. We've seen several officers behind their patrol cars, guns drawn. So again, this is still acting a very serious situation. So again, it's just a wait and kind of hope you can get this over without any more people being injured. Back to you, Josh. And I know you're looking at this bank and you're not, you don't want to give away positions. I took a look at it on Google Maps. This isn't a very big bank at all. There's two entrance points to the bank. It's a very square building. Uh, one side is the drive-through for the tellers. Uh, so w from your vantage point, I mean, does it, uh, how many people could be involved in this situation? It, it, is it a very busy bank by what you can see? I mean, we're talking uh, uh, multiple people down, but wondering how busy of traffic goes into a bank like that. Yeah, in, in Sebring, which is a small town, you're going to have area banks like this. It's a decent sized bank. It does only have a couple ins and outs, but plenty of people could be in there and the time of day this happened is a busy time of day so again they're taking precaution I'm gonna pull out really wide now and show you we're on the lake okay so on the road right now there's a helicopter on the road they're bringing him in oh, wow. oh, there we go yeah. that's one of the Aramed helicopters there again they're waiting as well too so they can't get in to get the people out. So that's a concern now to negotiate and try to get this guy out. All right, and Paul, just to reiterate for people, the Sebring police commander says there is a report of an armed person in that SunTrust bank. It's on US 27. Several people reported down. The Highlands County Sheriff's Office says 
27 is shut down from Hammock Road to Lakeview Drive. And if there are any co-workers and family members of anyone believed to be inside that SunTrust branch during the incident, they should go to the Inn on the Lakes in Sebring, correct? Correct, that's what we've heard. And I'm monitoring the Twitter account up here in the air as well. We're also hearing radio traffic and we're trying to pull it in on the scanner. But again, we're watching and we can see a lot more than we can show you. And it's a very serious situation. Anytime you see police officers hiding behind cars with guns drawn, armored trucks, men with uh, machine guns, you or M16s or whatever guns they have, the rifles, this is a very serious situation. And so again, we will stay over it. And anytime, I, what I'm looking for up here is I look for movement. When I see movement, when I'm not live, I can push in and see, and we can pretty much figure out what is going on from up here. And again, we have a great view, but again, I'm not gonna give the vantage point of the officers away for their safety. But again, that's what we're doing up here now over Sebring, over US 27. Right, Paul, we wanna reiterate that we, Although we want to find it very important to bring you the breaking news, we of course don't want to be a part of it or help in any way. We want to keep everyone there safe. I do have an update we just received too. Because of this incident in Sebring at the SunTrust, the Kindergarten Learning Center is currently on a controlled campus. There is no threat to the school. This is a precautionary measure and law enforcement is working to resolve that situation. So there could be disruptions to the dismissal schedule of KLC, the Kindergarten Learning Center today. Uh, so parents there will want to check. They will be notified via call out and post, uh, things will be posted to the hey, school's Stacey, Facebook page. Stacey, I don't page. mean to interrupt, but right now they're moving one of the stretchers in. So I'm not sure what that means, but they are pulling one of the stretchers in towards the bank. They're walking it down US 27 as we speak now. I'm gonna kind of stay tight on it. Our pilot, Matt, is looking and giving me some other viewpoints that I can't see because I'm staring at the screen. Right. But they are moving this stretcher in. It is a tricky situation too, because as you said earlier, you don't want to give away any crucial information on the situation since it's ongoing. Uh, one other point too, off of st what Stacy had to say, the School Board of Highlands County also saying Fred Wild Elementary, also on a controlled campus lockdown at this time. So they're uh, being very careful in the surrounding area of what they have here. They're not telling us specifically specifically what the situation is, but there is an armed person involved and reports of people down inside of that bank. So as you can see, ambulance pulling up, there's a uh, medical helicopter, transport helicopter there as well. They're getting closer to that scene by pushing in the uh, gurney there. So um, Paul Lamison is up in the air giving us an update here from Eagle 8 HD. This is live over Sebring in Highlands County. Hey, this County. looks like it could be done. I'm okay. gonna go into the scene. Okay. Yeah, they're close. But I, I'm gonna zoom out if I see something. But again, this could be done. They're going in and the cops, the police officers are now at ease. So they're going into the door right now. That's the door to the SunTrust Bank that you are looking at. And We're gonna try to pull the helicopter over to get a better, tighter shot. That's apparently good news because mm -hmm. if there are injuries, the quicker they can get them out of there and treat them, the better. We don't know how many people are down. You did say you heard of two Aeromed helicopters en route and you saw two stretchers, right, Paul? Yeah, we saw one of the helicopters has already pulled out. One of them is on the ground on US-27. We just saw one of the two stretchers go into the bank. And you can see the police officers, and they're moving back. This definitely looks over. You can see they're moving away from the bank. So they are inside this now. And take a look at the front of that building. Yeah, I was going to ask you that. That white awning. Hmm. Yeah, that looks like somebody either rammed something through there it could have either been the law enforcement or the person inside. But again, there is the uh, armored vehicle. Yep. And there is the front door that they're going in. We saw the stretcher go in. We're waiting for it to come out. But again, this situation looks like it has ended. We don't know any other details other than what we can see. But from up here, it looks like this situation has ended. Okay, again, this is taking place in Sebring at the SunTrust Bank. You see right there, this is on US 27, still shut down in both directions from Hammock Road to Lakeview Drive. That's all because of this incident. They're taking extra precautions in that neighborhood. That could let up soon based on what we're seeing here. It appears that they have figured out and gotten in and are now working to get the injured out.
Uh, and as a result, some local schools are a, on a controlled campus situation, uh, as we brought to you earlier. Just going to give you an update on those as well real quick. First of all, the Fred Wilds Elementary School on a controlled campus at this time, and also due to the incident in Sebring Kindergarten Learning Center, also on a controlled campus. So not taking any chances. They're being careful with the schools nearby. But as uh, Paul has alluded to, this looks like it's coming to an end since uh, Everybody has gone in now, and they don't look like it. it's too uh, imminent of any danger at this point. And we do have a crew on the ground headed that way, but as Josh mentioned, it's quite a ways from Tampa. This is on the outskirts of our viewing area. It's about 90 miles away, but it takes about an hour and a half to get there. Hey, Paul, how does US-27 look? Uh, we were talking about how busy of a roadway that is. Is that something that's really going to be tied up? Uh, is that well, a Josh, what I can tell you is they have it closed for a good distance. As far as I can see to the south and as far as I can see to the north, it is shut down. They are turning cars around well before this incident. So what that's going to do, that's going to lead to backups of area roads around here because there's usually only one way through Sebring, and that is US-27. You can get around the lake in other ways, but again, they have most of it blocked off. So it's just adding to traffic all around this area. All right, Paul. Thanks. So right now in front of us, it's not bad. Thank you for that update. We are streaming this live on our Facebook page as well as on our website. We have um, ongoing coverage of what's happening here. We're going to wrap up our coverage here on air, but head to our website, WFLA.com, or our Facebook page where we have ongoing coverage of the situation in Sebring. We are unaware how many people are injured, but the initial report was several people down. You saw the police presence and the medical presence. So we're going to follow this and bring you the very latest minute to minute on our digital platforms, and we'll be back with the latest here on First at Four. Right now, breaking news on News Channel 8. Good afternoon, I'm Stacy Scheibel. We are breaking right now at 3 o'clock because we have breaking news in Highlands County where we've had reports of an armed gunman inside a SunTrust bank in Sebring with potential fatalities. That's right, and this situation ended as about 20 minutes ago. We've just learned that gunman has surrendered to law enforcement, but we want to take you out live to Sebring now. We have a crew on the way on the ground, but we also have Eagle 8 HD live over this scene. Paul Lamison is aboard the helicopter and has been watching the scene unfold, so let's get out to Paul. What have you seen since we talked to you last, Paul? Hey, good afternoon, Josh. This is the front of the bank. This is where we've been since the whole incident ended. I'm going to push in and show you. See the guy in the blue shirt? That looks like the detective that's handling this case because what we saw when all the SWAT members came out, they all stopped to him and talked to him for a while. We saw all the SWAT members come out. They then draped the yellow crime scene tape over the front door. What we also saw were the two stretchers that went in. When they came out, there were no people on either of the stretchers. Also, the helicopter that was on the ground took off without any patience. Let's show you the scene a little bit earlier. We saw a lot of SWAT activity out here. You saw people running in. We saw uh, stretchers on the road waiting to go in. This was a very active scene. Lots of police officers. And again, we did not go in tight to give away positions. Finally, we saw the stretchers pull into the, or into the bank and then everybody went in. We realized it was over because all of the officers and SWAT team members were standing around and in a more relaxed position. Now, if you come back out live, I want to show you there is the armored truck. That is what the SWAT team went up in. That's the Highlands County Sheriff SWAT team. The sheriff deputies got out of there from the SWAT team. They, at one point, they could not negotiate with this guy, so they went ahead and went in. The thing that concerned us the most is when we saw those two stretchers go in, they came out empty, and again, the helicopter took off and went back to base empty as well. They are guarding the door. They do have crime scene tape up, and I'm going to pull out wide and show you US-27 is still shut down in this area. That is US-27. You can still see all the police presence. So even though this situation in the bank might be over, it's going to take a while till they get US-27 back open. Again, this is US-27, and you can see there's still plenty of police and sheriff activity on the roadway. So right now, the situation in the bank is clear. The situation in Highlands County is still ongoing while they try to figure out what happened. And when we get more information, we'll surely bring it to you live. 
Back to you, Josh. And we are getting information here. What's very interesting about this, and this is according to the Highlands County Sheriff's Office, is the man actually contacted dispatch about 12.30, 12.36 today, and reported that he had fired shots inside the bank. So we don't know the motive of this guy, whether this was a bank robbery, whether this was a domestic incident, but he was the one who actually called to let people know, hey, I'm, I'm firing shots. And then he eventually surrendered to a SWAT team. Now, there are reports of witnesses saying there are fatalities. We do not have that from officials yet. We don't know the number of people injured or the severity of those injuries. That's information we hope will be coming shortly. Um, again, Paul, you noted at the front entrance of the bank, it looks like they use their armored vehicle to ram the front of that and make entrance or gain entrance to that SunTrust. We don't know how many people were in the building at the time. This all unfolded around the lunch hour. But Josh, as you pointed out, it's not a very big SunTrust bank mm -hmm. branch. And it's interesting, uh, uh, Paul, that you mentioned they did bring the gurneys in and came back out, so this is an active scene. Um, we're hoping for the best in this situation, that no one has been killed, uh, no one's severely injured. If they were injured, we would have probably seen them come out of the bank, so now it's a waiting game to determine what happened inside that bank. But what we do know is that man has surrendered to the... Uh, Hillsborough County SWAT team or the Highlands County SWAT team when this all went down. And we also know the school board has lifted all of the area schools that were surrounding kind of where that SunTrust Bank is. All of those lockdowns have been lifted now so parents are okay to go pick up their kids from school as usual. And Paul, can you say once again, uh, we saw two stretchers, we saw that medical helicopter, but you didn't see anyone taken out on any of those in an urgent way. Yeah, Stacy. when those, we watched them go in, we waited and waited, two of them came out and we were watching and they were both empty. There was not a patient on either of the stretchers. And in fact, they were loaded back into the waiting ambulance. One of the ambulances is still here. The other one did drive away, as well as the Aramet helicopter that was on US-27. They took off and went back without a patient. So that's the thing that is not good news is with us thinking there were patients, with them waiting to get those stretchers into the bank, for them to come out empty, not a good sign. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, unfortunately, Paul. Well, we appreciate your coverage there. You're in Sebring. That's down in Highlands County. I know it's a little bit of a jaunt from the Tampa Bay area. We know you'll stay on top of it and we'll continue to uh, report things as they unfold. We do have a crew on the way to the scene on the ground. They should be arriving shortly, so we'll bring you a full report on what is happening today in Sebring on First at 4, coming up obviously at 4 o'clock. And in the meantime, you can also watch on the News Channel 8 app and on our digital platform, the WFLA.com page. We're going to continue to update that, and then Josh and I will be back in less than an hour for First at Four. Eagle 8 HD, ruling the skies of Tampa Bay. Brought to you by your